Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we have a tutorial and I think this one is one of my favourite builds that I've ever done. It is a carnival styled wagon and it's a little bit over the top and cartoon like but I think it looks awesome and it would work perfectly in a fantasy carnival themed base area if that's what you are going for. So. If you liked the video be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this one in the future. So with that, let's get started. Now starting off with the wheels, I've marked out areas where the points for where the wheels touch the floor are. So if you place a spruce plank down and then 6 block gap, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, place another plank. Then going across the way we have a 9 block gap, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 block there and then right there so that is going to be the points where each one of the wheels touch the floor for the front wheels come in and do upside down stairs either side of our spruce plank right there place a temporary block and an upside down stair a plank on top and a regular stair on top of that repeat that on the other side upside down stair plank and regular stair moving on up place a temporary block again regular stair there plank and regular stair on that side and that's going to be the front smaller wheel moving to the back wheel we have our block there and do the similar what we've done on that one we do our upside down stairs either side this time though place a temporary block right there with a regular stair the same on that side break those away then do two temporary blocks at the back of that with a plank on top break that away and an upside down stair and a regular stair on top of that the same on this side so two blocks like so, plank, upside down stairs and regular stairs right there, then a temporary block on top of these stairs with an upside down one, so it faces in the way, two temporary blocks again, plank and regular stairs either side of that and that's the shape of our back wheel. For a bit of extra detail on the tyres of these we're going to add in trap doors just to the middle block sections right there. The same on the back wheel. Then we're also on the back wheel going to come into this extra stair here and place a trapdoor on the bottom and a trapdoor on the outside. Right there and right there. And the same at the top. Trapdoor there. Trapdoor there. Just like that. Then we're going to repeat these two wheels on the other side. For the inside of these wheels we're going to use some copper and we're going to want the waxed variant so if you're doing this in survival you will need to get some honeycomb and wax these so they do not oxidise as we want this copper colour. On the smaller wheel just place a full block of waxed copper right there with some rods coming off the top and bottom of this block right there. Some black stone buttons on the sides. Come to the inside, place some temporary blocks right there and place a grindstone on that temporary block breaking it away and that's going to be the front wheel. For the back wheel place a temporary block right there and this time place a copper block there. Another temporary block with copper blocks on the sides like so making the same pattern we did right there. This time though we're going to use the cut copper stairs just to give this one a little bit extra shape to it and then we're going to come in with the rods once more placing them on the copper blocks all the way around. Make sure you place them on the copper blocks so that the thicker side is on the tyre right there. The same way done for the smaller wheel, come on the inside, place some temporary blocks for our grindstone like so. And there you go, that is the inside now of our tyres, the blackstone buttons of course. And there we go, we can repeat that now on the other side. Alright, come to the inside now and we're going to join these wheels up with some axles. So place two temporary blocks on our grindstone right there with a redstone block. Break those away and place a regular piston. Do the same on the other side. Two blocks with redstone and a piston. Then take a smoker and have it run along sideways, joining those up. With a spruce trap door on the front and the bottom. Like so. And the front and the bottom of this middle block come on the inside now and just on the backs of these redstone, leaving out the middle. Come to our back tyres and something similar. Two blocks on our grindstone with redstone and a piston. Same on the other side, two blocks, redstone and a piston. Smokers to join those up. 
This time we're only going to add a trapdoor to the very bottom of those blocks right there. Now we're going to work on the base section, so take some dark oak planks and right on the side of this piston bring a line of dark oak planks all the way across until you get to just in front of this piston right here. Then place one on top of this piston at the back side and bring it all the way along meeting up with that. Do the same on the other side, so bring those planks across on top of this piston this time and those planks across right there. Then at the front of the wagon come here and place two full blocks again of dark oak. Place three along the top of these smokers here. Then bring block out by two and wrap it all the way around so you have this shape right here. Place a full block right in the middle. Then two slabs either side of that with a slab underneath here. And you may want to also add in a spruce slab on top of this redstone just to cover up that redstone block. And that's going to be the underside of the front half. Then at the back, place a plank in front of this redstone block, connecting it up with the other one. Make that too high. Then three full blocks in the middle at the top half right there, with planks underneath, sorry, slabs underneath that, and stick those out by another one. Then a slab on the top half on each of the corners. And on the very underside, you still have a massive hole right here on the wagon. So we're going to fill that in, and we're going to come to the front section here. So this is the front of our wagon right there and on the back of these smokers place in some slabs three across right there then a full block one two three four right in the very center and then the rest of it we're just going to fill in with top slabs going all the way around filling in all this area with slabs right there and that's going to do it for the base of the wagon and that was the most difficult part now it was the most intricate to get all the details right so now it's plain sailing from here on in as we build up the top half of our carnival wagon design. So at the very back of our wagon here on these three slabs that are sticking out, place a full block of spruce plank right there with two upside down stairs coming from the sides, like that. Then bring that up by another full block. Come to the inside and do an upside down stair right there with a plank and another upside down stair. Upside down stair, plank, and again upside down stair with some more spruce planks joining those up right there. On top of that one, spruce plank again, and then fill in the back once more. This time now, place a row of slabs, and on the inside of that, one more row of planks, and you get this nice curve right here. Sticking at the back, but we're going to work on this side here. So come in and place a, another plank right beside this one with a slab on top and a plank right underneath of there. Come around and looking through these spokes here, we want to do an upside down stair on that block and a full block beside that one right there. And then upside down stairs on that block with a full block, upside down stairs, a full block, upside down stairs, another full block in line with the centre of this front wheel right here. Then come round and place another spruce block on the inside and stick out by one. Come across the very top of these, bring it along by five at the very front of our wagon and do the same at this side as we've done just there. So full block there and there with a slab on top, upside down stairs, full block, upside down stairs, full block, stairs, full block, stairs and full block. Coming inside there and there. Now come in and where we have the full blocks here, place another full block on top. So every second one like so. When we have an upside down stair, we want a regular stair on top of those. Come round and copy that on the other side. So again, full blocks on top of the full blocks that already are there. With regular stairs on top of the upside down ones. Then as we move to the front, place an upside down stair facing out with a block right there. Another stair, block, stair. Upside down stair blocks again like so and then full blocks connecting those up the final thing we're going to do is add a slab on top of this end one right here so it matches with the back right there and then come underneath and every time you have an upside down stair you're going to place in a little spruce trap door so one there and there should be another one right there i'm going to do that again on the other side with the base of our wagon all done, minus a few details, we're going to start working on the main structure right here. So come in and in line with these ones that go up right at the front, we're just going to fill in this whole area with 
spruce planks right there as this is going to be a little decking area outside of the front door. For this section that is remaining it should be a 7 by 7 space and I'm going to come around with some temporary blocks just around and around all the way on the exterior like so. This is going to make it easier to place in the block so we're going to have red wool and white wool alternating stripes up and down and these are going to go 5 high so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 red and then 5 white red white red white and finally one more red like so and then we're going to do that on each of the sides all right looking cool it started to take shape now uh, moving up to the very top we're actually going to take some oak trap doors and oak slabs on the red ones at the very top we're going to place in some oak trap doors on the top of the white we're going to place a oak slab so these will just alternate all the way around like so and yet yeah, just keep going until you meet up with the other side so then we're going to come in with some oak planks and place a plank on top of each one of the slabs and trap doors that we just placed so going all the way around in the corners we also want a plank right there on these red corners like so and then on the outside of the corners place a top slab like that and then we do that all the way around then in front of each one of these oak planks we're going to do another oak trap door so it looks something like that again on all four sides now we're going to create another layer just like this one on top but it's going to be slightly different so on the middle five blocks right here we're going to place in a yellow white yellow white yellow so it's five across like that missing out these corners and these are going to go seven high so this is going to be two three four five six seven and then in the middle we're actually going to bring it up by one more just like so repeat that on each one of the four sides once again then as we have these gaps in the corners come to the inside and using the white wool we're actually just going to bring these up by four so one two three four one two three four so this is what it looks like from the outside that's going to be a roof that hangs over here so you're not going to see past this block anyway so again do the four on each one of the corners a little bit more structure and detail on the corners here we're actually going to add an oak fence on the corner right there with some oak fence gates joining those up like so then a fence again in the corner up against of these white blocks that we placed with a oak plank on top of that two slabs either side and then two trap doors coming out from those repeat that on each four corners now we're going to add a little bit of a roof for this top section here so we're actually going to use some warped planks as i think the color scheme goes with this carnival clown style we're going for so place a warped plank on top of each one of these blocks sticking them out by one from the roof like so the same goes for here and the side right there i'm going to do that going all the way around so we'll go blocks here here and then at the top so you have this shape and then come on the inside and actually extend it out by one more at the back so we'll do it there there and along here and the shape should turn out something like this as we're going to add in another section right here at the very top so speaking of that top section, come to the roof here and place some temporary blocks along the back side of these warped planks like so. Place a red wool in the corners like that and then bring it up by another two. So one, two and then alternate again. So it is red, white, red, white, red. Once again, keep going all the way around. Then take your temporary blocks once more and this time make a ring all the way around of the section that we just created like that place a warped plank in the very center with a stair or two stairs on either side so in the very center two stairs center two stairs and finally again you want to do something similar like we did below and this time place a oak slab on the white sections with an oak trap door on the red ones again going around underneath and this gives this roof section a little bit extra support and it should be looking like that now let's move on to the final piece of the roof before adding in all of the details so for this roof we're going to use some more wool this time using some light blue and some white and we're going to alternate the colors like we've been doing before we're going to add one light blue one in the corner then two white then three light blue two white one blue white three blue two white and like so again then come the inside with your temporary blocks once again on these white blocks Bring white wool up by two once more. Temporary blocks behind the blue ones. 
and bring the blue ones up by two, temporary block once again, then two blue blocks at the very top. To finish the roof off, we're going to add a fence and the centre block right here on top of this warped plank. And then we're going to add an oak trap door on top of each one of the wheel blocks that make up the roof. Finally adding two more oak fences at the very top and we will get to our flag at the very end. The first detail we're going to add is some large exhausts, large cartoon style exhausts coming out the back. A little bit over the top but it goes with the whole theme of the build. So come to the back here and on the second one of your slabs place a black stone block right there. Bring that up by three blocks. Place one at the very back and then break away another slab on the inside. Place a block at the front and break away this plank and another black stone block right there. Then place a black stone wall with an upside down black stone stair on that one. Another black stone wall with three more blocks on top of these upside down stairs. Another black stone wall, this time placing two black stone walls either side coming out in this diagonal direction with one joining them up in the middle. Another full block on top of that. Then one more full block with another stair facing out the way this time. Two walls on the back side here with another full block, then a campfire and then some acacia trapdoors surrounding that campfire. And that's going to be one large over the top carton exhaust sticking out the back. I want to do another one on the other side, copying this design but this time having it go out in that direction. Then you want to come in and texture these up with other variants of blackstone. So I'm going to use some polished blackstone bricks and some regular polished blackstone. I'm just going to replace some of the blocks like this just to give it a little bit extra texture and make it look a little bit more rustic. Alright, exhausts are looking awesome now. We're going to move to the front and add in a little balcony area for the front entrance. So coming right here, we're going to add in a couple of trap doors right there. And these three in the middle, trap doors again. This time we're going to add in a temporary block so we can place the trap doors on the outside of this block. And again, another temporary block right there so we can add a trap door there. Come on the inside and another trap door, making this a full balcony. Do the same on this side with some temporary blocks right there. And great, we've got ourselves a balcony now. And on the side here, I'm actually going to add in some dark oak buttons just to these sections right here. A compost on the two ends with azalea leaves on top of those. Grass block with some spruce trapdoors going around at this time. And I'm going to add in a little berry bush and we can bone meal that or just let it grow itself. Just going to do something similar on the other side. You can do and change up these decorations as you see fit. This time I'm going to add in composters on all three. And remembering the dark oak buttons right there. And just do an arrangement of these azalea leaves. Then at the very back at the bottom I'm going to add in a little hook here that we can hook up other trailers and things to it. So just add a grindstone right there in that very middle block. With a spruce slab underneath. Trap doors either side of those like that. And trap doors either side. And that's going to add a nice bit of detail there. Can add some more trap doors at this back side to give it a little bit more texture. And that side again is looking pretty cool now. For a window on this side we're going to punch away the three middle blocks right here and add in white stained glass panes. Add in some warp trap doors but on the actual block for the window as on top of that we're going to place yellow carpet. So that we can add in a yellow banner either side of that and it looks like a nice little window design hanging over that central window right there. For the other side, I'm actually not going to add a window over here, just to make it a little bit different, and especially when we're doing the interior, we don't want too many windows on the inside. For the main front entrance, just take a land right here and break away the two middle blocks of the white right there. You may need to place some spruce planks in the middle to actually get in and out, but I'm actually going to just place a warped door right there. Place a waxed oxidised cut copper in the middle and turn the other two at either side like so with some warped fences holding that then place some twisting vines here just put them three high with a warped warp block on top of those and a button on each of the sides just adding a nice bit of detail like some wacky carnival plant right there and then two lecterns either side right here and add in some carpet as a bit of decoration for this middle section right here and you may be wondering how do we actually get into this base where we're actually going to add a ladder right at the very front here. So under this block you need to come in and turn around, take a spruce trap door and place it under that block and then place in more spruce trap doors all the way until you get to the floor. 
flip them up like so and add a ladder to the front. Up at the very top either side of the ladder, just place and trap those either side of that and underneath and that lads a nice bit of depth there at the front and now we can get in and out of our base here. Then for the top section window just come in and in the very middle count up two blocks right there and place three ox slabs across, break away a three by three window with some white glass panes in the middle again, a full block at the very top with stairs facing out the way on each side creating this little shape with a trap door on the top and the bottom, a dark oak button in the centre, a couple of light blue banners on either side as like curtains and then a little flower pot with a cactus in it and that's a nice little design. I'm going to do something similar on the other side as well. There we go, that's the other side done and at the very front here I'm going to do a little bit of a different window design. So on the third one up, one, two, three, place in some of this warped nylon with spruce trap doors going around all of the sides of that just as a standard little planter box. Then we can place warped roots and some warped sprouts on there. This time though I'm only going to break away three here and three here and do glass panes coming down these sides like so with an oak slab on the very top half of that window right there. We're almost done with all of the windows and designs for the walls now but we have one more left and again I don't want to add in another window as on the interior that means we'll have a window on each of the sides so this time I'm just going to thought it'd be funny add in a large clown nose looking structure so right from the middle block so one two three four blocks up bring that out by two like so and then bring it out by one going all the way around and one right there and that just looks like a large red clown nose and I thought that was a funny little detail again if you have some other design you want to put here then by all means then come to the very top we're going to add in a simple little flag here just using some yellow concrete place one on top and one at the front place a temporary block and another one right there and bring it out by two two temporary blocks this time with one underneath out by two again and that's just a simple little flag tying in with the yellow in the middle right there so we're going to add in some smaller little balloons now in some of the sections and right in this corner we're going to add in a chain with a lightning rod on top of that with some red concrete. Then around the red concrete we're just going to put red banners going around like so. It just looks like a nice little balloon. I think I'll place one down here as well. I'll put a fence right there with a chain, lightning rod, red concrete and red banners going around. You can add more of these in if you want but I'm going to add in a main balloon structure up here at the top. So we're first going to place in a little bit of structure using some fences to look like rope that's been tied to this roof. So two along that side, two along there, one on top with a chain and a lightning rod. Then place in two red concrete right there, a yellow concrete at the back, a yellow concrete at the side and another magenta concrete on that side. Place a temporary block with yellow on the side and yellow on the top. Place a light blue in the back, right in the middle right there. Two more temporary blocks with another light blue sticking out at an angle. Then a temporary block on top of this blue one. I'm actually going to add in magenta right there. Yellow at the back, magenta on the side once more. With a red on top and a temporary block with a red at the corner. Then a light blue coming from the side. A magenta at the top. Another light blue coming out from the back. With a red sticking out from this side, like so another light blue diagonally from there with another magenta sticking out the back at this side like there and finally a temporary block there with another red and that's a nice little pile of balloons hard to follow and hard to describe in a tutorial but hopefully you can follow that just about and get a nice pile of balloons hanging from the top of our base now i'm going to put another one of these on the back side right there maybe I'll put it one block lower and then i think the details are pretty much all but done and there we go guys, the build is complete and I love how it turned out, I think it looks awesome, it is right up my street in terms of the creativity, it's something a little bit different than a regular house. So if you did like it as well then leave a like and a comment with what you thought of the video, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like this in the future. But that guys though, I want to thank you very much for watching and until the next one, bye bye.